Clamp-on methodology is a unique application of Ohm's law. The tester induces a current through a grounding circuit and uses this as a basis for a resistance measurement. The clamp houses two inductive coils, one to establish test current and the other to sense voltage drop. The tester must be able to find a current path back to the jaws in order to make a measurement. With a return path in place, the measurement will be a series loop resistance of the entire current path. Let's review basic circuitry. In a series circuit, current passes through multiple resistances one after another. The circuit then sees the added resistance of all elements. In a parallel circuit, current divides between multiple parallel paths. The total resistance then is a quotient and not a sum. A parallel series circuit combines elements of both. Current passes through a series of parallel resistances. Let's see how these circuit fundamentals apply to clamp on ground measurement. Imagine a string of pole grounds parallel together through a grounded system neutral, each with a 10 ohm resistance. The clamped rod becomes a resistance in series with the combined parallel resistance of all the other rods. The remaining rods in system neutral provide the return path. The measurement is the resistance of the rod under test plus the elements of the return path. The return elements add to the reading and therefore contribute an error. In a six rod system, calculation shows the parallel resistance contributes two ohms, and therefore a 10 ohm rod would read as 12. But for a 60 rod system, calculations show that the error is reduced to a mere 0.17 ohms. How can the clamp-on identify a bad ground in an otherwise good string? Calculation shows that a 100 ohm ground in parallel series with five 10 ohm grounds would read 102 ohms, readily identifying the problem. But what if the high resistance ground was part of the parallel return? The calculation shows that it makes only a negligible contribution to the measurement. In a parallel system, a bare ground does not have a large effect. Note that the contribution of the return path always makes a clamp-on measurement read a little high. But this is as much a safety margin as it is an error.